Ito na naman tayo sa isang uh, walking vlog. Um, as you all know, this walking vlog was inspired by um, another YouTube create, content creator from the US and uh, her name is The Mads of San Diego. Um, I got to watch one of her premieres during this walking vlog where in, um, she, while she is doing her um, health is wealth journey, by doing everyday walks, she tries to discuss a lot of topics about her life, her kids, herself, her family, and uh, everything about her. So I got inspired doing of what she does, and so I uh, took the challenge, accepted the challenge, and started doing mine. Yeah. Three months on lockdown. I do remember the date, the last time I was outside was on March 8th, March, April, May, June. So it has already been three months on lockdown and uh, the city has eased the restrictions about going out. And um, now we are able to receive uh, guests at home. But there's what this is, uh, there's this what they call a bubble. A bubble of um, people who are only allowed to see you or uh, who are only allowed to to be with you at a certain point of time and in that bubble you can only allow 10 people but still you have to uh, observe social distancing so yun, since the city has lifted some of its restrictions, so we are already allowed to uh, receive guests at home. So since Friday, we've been having guests at home. Na yung uh, family ng best friend ni Boss Madam, nandun sila sa bahay, they had dinner there. And then yesterday, I also heard some people were in the house, um, other people, because um, we have a swimming pool. And I think uh, there were kids na nakipag-swim sa mga alaga ko. And today, the people who came were uh, the family of my lady boss brother's brother. So, sila yung mga bisita. And we can see how excited are they to see each other again in the flesh. And nakakatuwa na... Well, because they, they obviously missed each other, especially yung mga bata, um, they were able to play each other no longer virtually kasi ang nangyayari lang is uh, they used to FaceTime each other and then they get to like play a little uh, on video, FaceTime video na hindi alam naman natin hindi nila mai enjoy So parang nakakatuwa kanina ang naririnig ko yung sigawan at tawanan ng mga bata which is for a long time is matagal kong hindi narinig sa aming pamamahay and so nakakatuwang isipin na kahit ano sa, sa tingin ko hindi na siguro tayo mababalik sa normal pero nakakatuwa lang isipin na kahit pano may mga pagkakataon may mga dati nating ginagawa ay pwede na ulit nating gawin Ano bang, ano, uh, when we got into the lockdown, ano ba yung na-realize natin? There were so many realizations na nangyari na parang ako, I used to work almost, uh, let's say, hindi man 24-7. But I used to work like 7 days a week. And when I, uh, when the lockdown was implemented, so I was prohibited by my employers to do my extra work during Saturdays and Sundays but before the lockdown I was busy doing Saturday and Sunday work at wala talaga akong pahinga especially nung baguhan pa lang ako dito sa Canada since I am alone in this country I do not have any relatives I do have friends but they don't live close by so I don't get a chance we don't get a chance to meet each other so I'd rather spend my time working and earning money than staying in my room na, na wala namang gagawin uh, wala rin masyadong makausap sa Pilipinas because our time difference is alam naman natin na pag araw dito madaling araw gabi doon and vice versa so 
I don't have much to do. So, I'd rather work. Tapos, kikita pa ako. And I got to a point na halos hindi na ako nagpapahinga. All I do is work, 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 and work, and work, and work. <laughs> and so, parang dumadating ako dun sa point na napapagod ako. Pero nanghihinayang ako kasi parang andyan lang yung opportunity to to earn. And nanghihinayang ako na palagpasin yung bawat oportunidad na yun. Especially that oh, especially na ano naman kasi, I'm still not uh, financially stable. So, every opportunity that I get to earn money, I grab it. Kasi, uh, gusto ko lang yung parang, I, I, I have extra finances, just in case may mga emergency pangangailangan sa Pilipinas, yung mga anak ko, I could have something no, sabi nga nila, kapag may uh, isinuksok, meron tayong madudukot. So, yun yung naging panuntunan ko sa mga unang panahon na ako ay nandito. Meron yung mga time na I will work 8 to 5 sa employer ko. Then, after 5, nagkukumahog na akong magbihes para bumiyahe na naman para magtrabaho ng, mag-start ng work for, from 6 or 7 p.m. in the evening. And that goes until like 2 to 3 a.m. ng madaling araw. Then, uh, uwi kami, abutin kami ng alas 4, traveling time. Magkikwentuhan pa kami bago matulog. Na, nagkakwentuhan na nga kami doon sa workplace namin. Magkikwentuhan pa kami bago matulog. So, most probably, makakatulog kami mga 5 a.m. in the morning. And then, I have to wake up like early, 7 a.m. Because I have work again at around 9 or 10 a.m. So, that's Friday to Saturday. Mag-work ko ng 10 a.m. ng umaga. That's until 2 p.m. And, kung meron pa ulit akong tinanggap na extra work ng Saturday ng hapon, like babysitting or other uh, cleaning cleaning work, magtatrabaho na naman ako ulit. And then, Sunday meron ulit. So, that's, um, that's basically how I lived my life before. And when the lockdown happened, so, I can't work outside anymore dahil hindi nga naman pwedeng makipaghalo-bilo sa ibang tao. So, I got to spend my uh, weekends sa bahay lang, sa loob ng aking kwarto. In the confines of my, <laughs> of my uh, small room. Ayun. And uh, a lot of things is, there, there are a lot of things that I, I started to realize na especially yung tungkol sa health ko. Uh, gaya nga nang sabi ko, I'm diabetic. So, um... Isa yun sa mga factor na yung parang I have to look after myself too na hindi ko kailangan magtrabaho na magtrabaho kasi aanhin mo naman ang uh, pera kung meron kang karamdaman, di ba? Hindi naman makasasapat yung marami kang uh, kinikita pero kung mauubos din lang naman sa to buy medicine or something, it's useless for you na mag-work, mag-work ng mag-work and then you just gotta spend it to ano for your for your health na yung pagalingin ka. I mean, if you're gonna spend the money for your health to make yourself better like um uh, self improvement, like healthy wealth, like gaya ng ginagawa ni the Mads of San Diego, then it's okay. But if you're spending money because your health is deteriorating dahil na rin sa sarili mong kapabayaan, well, I think that's not good enough for you na magpakamatay sa pagtatrabaho para lang uh, gamutin yung sarili mo. Then that's something I realized na sa, ang meron nga akong nabasa ang sabi niya na ikaw kung hindi ka nagpapahinga uh, yung inaabuso mo yung katawan mo hindi ka nagpapahinga then your body will be the one to choose the time for it to rest. So darating yung panahon na ikaw mismo yung talagang sa sobrang pagod mo hindi ka makagising, hindi ka makabangon hindi ka makapagtrabaho dahil sa sobrang pagod mo nung ng mga nakaraang araw na hindi ka hindi ka nagpahinga. So, ayoko namang umabot dun sa punto na magpapahinga ako at hindi na muling makababangon. <laughs> so, parang naisip ko yung sarili ko ako nga. Tama nga siguro yung iba. I don't have to ano, work like a dog and uh, I mean, work like a horse and uh, patayin yung sarili ko sa Uh, katrabaho. Palaging sinasabi ng mga kaibigan ko dito, I should rest, I should give myself time to enjoy also. 
Um, ako kasi yung taong, I'm not really, ano, hindi ako mahilig na mabas. Hindi ako gala. Kung gagala man ako, ganito lang. Maglalakad lang. And um, I like having friends around me, but uh, I prefer being alone most of the time din. Kasi parang marami akong naiisip kapag yung mag-isa ko lang. Marami akong nakakapagmuni-muni ako, ganun. And parang mas gusto ko yung katahimikan. Kung minsan, ano lang ako. Music and me, sapat na yun. So, ayun. Al ano parang ibang narealize ko during lockdown? So, ayun. Kailangan ako magpahinga. And then, I also realized na parang yung time para sa sarili at para sa pamilya. Nagkaroon kami nito. Ano, nagkaroon ng lockdown since ang mga bata din is ano, yung uh, wala silang klase. Maari kami makapagtawagan. Any time of the day, mas madalas yung mga kwentuhan namin, nakakapagbabad kami para mag-video call, nakakapagbiroan kami, nakakapagharutan kami through videos. And that's also a good thing. Kasi, di ba, hindi na nga natin sila kasama. So, bakit pag ipagdadamot pa natin yung pagkakataon na makapag, ano tayo, makapag-banding tayo na kasama sila. So, that's another good thing about this lockdown na na-realize ko. Also, I get to sleep a lot. Kasi medyo ako may pagka-ano ako eh. May pagka-tropang puyat din ako eh. Uh, Paminsan-minsan, may mga pagkakataon na talagang hindi ako natutulog. Naabot ako ng alas 5, alas 6 ng umaga and then I have to wake up at 7 because I have to prepare myself to work. Um, I need to work around 7.15 ng umaga. So, parang hindi ako nagpapahinga. Kaya nga, minsan sasabihin ng mga kaibigan ko, mahihita nila ako sa labas. Hindi kaya naman natulog mo, Nina. Parang, mga ah, ganun. So, nagkaroon ako ng pagkakataong matulog. Matulog ng matulog. At masarap palang matulog. <laughs> That's something I realized na masarap palang matulog. Although there are times na nagpupuyat pa rin ako. Pero, mas marami na akong panahon para matulog ngayon. And yung iba pa na parang mas nagkaroon ako ng uh, pagkakataon na masikaso yung mga bagay na dapat kong masikasuhin. Nabigyan ko ng panahon yung sarili ko. Uh, nabibigyan ko ng panahon yung mga hobby ko ba? Uh, ano ba ang hobby ko? Magsulat, kumanta, sumayaw. Kahit nag-iisa ako, ginagawa ko yan lahat sa loob ng aking kuwaan ko. So, hindi naman ako yung tipong parang walang uh, activities. So, eto, we're already, gaya nga nang sabi ko, the city is uh, easing the restriction. So, we don't know yet kung ano yung mga bagay na pwede pang mangyari. Nga, pero sa news ngayon, ang nakalagay is since the opening of uh, some of the the reopening of the of the place public ano mga public places na pinupunta ng mga tao nag-spike yung number ng mga affected na covid so we don't know kung babalik doon sa dati na maghigpit sila ulit or whatever pero sana naman hindi na sana naman hindi na yung para tayong mga presong nakakulong maganda pero kapag tumagal naman is uh, nakakabagot din nakabagod. So, yun lang. So, yun. Yun lang muna yung may share ko sa inyo. I'm doing my uh, daily walk na ano, dahil nakakulong na ako sa kwarto ko maghapon. So, kailangan ko rin ng fresh air and I also need to buy myself dinner. And so, yun muna sa ngayon yung may share ko sa inyo and um, I'll be back another day to share more of my uh, life dito and my my journey in Canada. So guys, maraming maraming salamat. Uh, please support me by subscribing to my channel. And please don't forget to hit like, maybe comment, comment down something. Um, pwede kayo siguro mag-suggest something about 
ano na, pwede natin pag-usapan, pwede kong mga hitakaw sa aking mga susunod na walk. And again, thank you to the Mads of San Diego for this um, ano, inspiring activity na ginagawa ng nanang karamihan. Marami na siyang na-influence. So, isa na ako sa mga yon. So, ngayon, I'm uh, beginning to share mine too. And uh, again, thanks to Mads of San Diego. And this is Candid Munina. Peace out. I'm signing off. Thank you.